Right, morning. Hello. Oh, dirty fingers clean. Can't grip. As you mix in cream to the mixture, you are beating in air. Brilliant. So this week we're using this. What's this? Is it a fruit or a vegetable? A vegetable. Why is it a vegetable? Which part of the plant is it? The root. Yeah. The stem. Stem. Yeah, oh, you are so good. This is amazing. You've actually learnt something. It's also really good for fencing and sword fighting. No, it's not. So this is very, very pink rhubarb. So this is forced rhubarb, which means it's grown indoors, in the dark. And from November through to March, it's very, very pink and it's very sweet because it's grown very, very quickly. Because then it comes up through the, the soil, it's desperate to try and find the light. And because it's grown in the dark, it doesn't get to find the light, so it just grows. Really Where to get its energy quickly. from then? Sorry? Where to get the energy from then? Soil. You can't get energy from soil. Oh. You get protein from soil. Yeah, well, whatever. It grows in the dark, and um, from April through to October, it's outdoor rhubarb, and it tends to be tougher, less sweet, and it's got more of a, um, a green tinge. The leaves on this would be yellow rather than deep green because it doesn't have any. It needs washing first, and then the easiest way is to use scissors, chop the very top bit off and the very bottom bit and it needs to be about three centimetres. The apples need peeling, cutting around the core, and then again chopping into similar sized pieces. These are gonna go in the pan with some orange zest and a cinnamon stick and some sugar, and we're just gonna cook it for about five minutes until it softens. And then while that's cooking, we're going to use the flour and the butter, and we're gonna rub in to make the topping, then add the oats and the soft brown sugar. Into both of them. Five tablespoons in each one. So if you do five and then Theo can do five. You finish the bridge method, hold it flat down, and the core it will go right through the middle. So slice it that side, flat side down, slice down there as well, turn it round chop that side and then pop it flat to get the other bit up. Once you've cut it like that, you need to cut it into chunks. So, about that size, yeah? Bridge. Bridge, brilliant. Maybe a bit smaller, there, there. Okay. Grab it. No, it's not going to get that low. Oh, I challenge. It's not going to be high. Salt. Oh. Salt. Okay, so. okay, just keep stirring it round. Is that melted yet, Alex? Yes. It's a bit of melted. Yes. All right, tip the fruit in. Gently use the spoon just to scrape it in so it goes into the pan. Brilliant. So remember, dirty, clean, dirty fingers, clean palms. Yay, brilliant, Sophia!